Uh, so this topic uh, will cover for this uh, week is a uh, power factor correction which is uh, this topic very important uh, to you uh, since it will cover on the test and also the your knowledge uh, and especially your your project design so your project confirm you need to include the power factor correction yeah uh, saya tutup my icon ni di sini lah. <coughs> okay, okay, ma, baru baru senyap sikit, sunyi sikit baik. Okay, uh, so I will try to cover uh, today to complete this topic in order to design of the power factor correction. So, do you know what does uh, meaning by power factor correction? Tahu tak? Siapa yang tahu? No, Syafika? Boleh? Boleh boleh cerita sikit apa yang faham dengan power factor correction? Tak tak? Nur Syafika. Saya nampak nama dia ya pagi ni. Ha, ha, yang, lain, yang lain saya tak nampak tu sebab tu saya panggil. Ada idea tak? Syafika? Nur Syafika bin apa nama naik tak penuh. Tak ada idea eh? So uh, saya tunjuk sikit uh, picture. So kalau kalau refer kepada ram, gambar rajah ni. Ini adalah uh, contoh yang real which is yang real uh, power factor correction dalam dalam MSB uh, which is uh, normally power factor correction will install together with the with the uh, main switch board lah so that's why your design of the schematic diagram nanti especially main switch board lah so you must include uh, with this power factor correction so but your drawing not look like this drawing should be like Okay, saya buka saya tunjuk satu lagi. Sekejap eh. Okay, ha, say. let's say this is your example of the your MSB lah. Okay, boleh nampak? Boleh kan? Boleh kan? No? Tak ada letak orang kan? Boleh kan nampak kan? Okay, so katakan uh, this is your MSB. Uh, your design, your project lah. So kan semua dah, dah ada projek kan. So you 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 complete with your all of your SSB. Kan you ada SSB 1, SSB 2 and SSB 3 and so on lah. Depend on your project. And uh, you complete all of these things sampai sini lah. You, you dah ada semua spare dan juga complete ACB and so on. Okay. And then you took to complete your project, you must include with this partition, with this uh, portion lah, which is we call it, this part is power factor correction. Okay, power factor correction. Normally, we will include together in the system uh, of electrical system, include of this uh, power factor correction in order to make sure uh, output from uh, electrical system or bit uh, more than 0 0.85 uh, so we design set siap kita design set siap to make sure that uh, power factor or uh, uh, what we call it uh, uh, between 0 0.85 and above only so because we know that if the power factor of our project is below than 0 0.85 the building will be penalized lah, kena penalty by the TMB. So, uh, how to calculate the penalty? Uh, that one you you already learned with the subject utilization kan. So, this subject we just teach on how uh, to design the power factor correction. We know that if your power factor is below than 0 0.85, every 0 0.01 unit will be calculated kan. So you akan kena penalty based on 0 0.01 numbers. Katakan let's say uh, your your power factor is 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.84. So meaning that you already uh, below than 0 0.85. So 0 0.01 that value will be calculated for penalty. So you calculate lah 0.01 multiply lah dengan uh, 
dia punya percentage tu so you just akan dapat you will get the uh, value for penalty value for that month so uh, for our project we must provide uh, already into our system the power factor correction so in order to protect the electrical system not uh, power factor is not cannot uh, cannot lah power factor is uh, not below than 0 0.5 Okay, clear. So today I will share on how to design this part only. Eh? This part only. If you can see, what we'll have here is uh, we have capacitor bank in triangle ni kan. Kalau nampak triangle ni kita ada capacitor lah. Okay. Kita ada capacitor uh, in triangle. Meaning that we have uh, uh, numbers, not only one capacitor because uh, from here we can see that is uh, connected in parallel or series uh, several number of uh, capacitor and we name it by capacitor bank lah okay bank kita panggil bank sebab dia ada banyak okay and then uh, we also have the uh, contactor <coughs> we have also the breaker and uh, normally we have also the reactor we call it reactor okay so today we will uh, and normally yeah normally we will label lah uh, the ratio also let's say the ratio number of ratio we have a lot of number ratio and you can select it uh, from the sample or you can propose whatever ratio that you uh, you plan that better for your system but normally yeah, normally ratio it will start from the lowest number to the highest number lah uh, macam tu this sample number of ratio contoh lah you you, you, you can also uh, put like that every, uh, one, one one sampai habis pun can also can no problem but you must have justification of why you set why you choose that uh, ratio okay Whatever number that you propose, you must have justification and for this part, you need to explain on assignment 3 year, I think. Okay, so assignment 2 will be will be upload later lah. Target minggu ni. Saya terlupa sepatutnya minggu sebelum kau meraya tu. Okay, clear. Nampak kan? So kita akan cover uh, you uh, at the end of this session you must make sure that you know how to calculate the value for this capacitor how to select the ratio and then uh, what a reactor number and uh, you need to uh, you need to know what does the number of the capacitor bank and then the uh, uh, the contactor how to select it and then the breaker how to select the breaker number Okay, so once once you have complete uh, all of this part, so meaning that uh, you are uh, well known uh, on the topic of vector correction. Okay, so we can start now. So before before I, I show the calculation, we just uh, touch a little bit on the theory dulu lah. Okay, okay. So first part is uh, the purpose of the system uh, power factor correction to compensate the generated lagging reactive power by leading reactive at the final node lah. So kalau lagging lah, lagging maksud dia uh, power factor is drop down so normally below then 0.85 lah. So if I ask you why kenapa 0.85 tahu tak kenapa? Amos Eng ni siapa eh? Amos Eng Who is Amos Eng? Oh, tu he left eh? Siapa Amos Eng tu? Siapa kenal dia? Muhammad Mamduf tu terus left. Saya baru tanya macam ni soalan. Semua takut. Uh, so, uh, dia masuk salah account. Amos Eng. Dia guna oh. private, private punya. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Siapa? Okay, Chu, okay. you lah. Chu lah. Ah, bukan, bukan. Kawan. Oh, okay, okay. No problem, no problem. Okay. <coughs> 
Okey Muhammad Nur apa ni? Muhammad Nur apa? Nama next separuh ni. Muhammad Nur. Okey so tak perlu tanya orang semua dah tahu eh. Well 0.5. Okey. Alright so we design uh, the power vector in order to make sure that uh, our power vector is more than 0.85. Okey. Why? So you jawab sendiri lah. <laughs> Kenapa 0.85 eh? Okay. Senang je saya tinggal soalan. Tak mahu jawab semua. Okay. So in uh, in uh, power factor correction, we have uh, several component which is a uh, recapacitor as I mentioned uh, earlier. So ini ni picture lah. Okay. Whoever want to see a real uh, real uh, uh, real apa? real thing lah, a real component of the power factor, you can come to uh, lab substation uh, block one, so uh, you can see there lah, a complete MSB portable MSB, we have uh, uh, this develop it, and you can see clear what, part by part uh, lagi clear, you you lebih faham lah, if you can see any real, real things kan so baru you, you boleh uh, really appreciate what you are learning Okay, we have a power fit, uh, capacitor, this capacitor. So just now you will you will design how how you are going to design how to, you are going to decide which number of the capacitor that uh, you must uh, include into your project. And then we also have power factor controller, which is this one. Power factor controller you must include into your project. And then we have a contactor, this one, contactor. Uh, how to select the contactor and what does the function. Okay, uh, and then uh, reactor, and this one, reactor. So what does the function of the reactor? And then uh, we also have the fuse breaker. Uh, ini lah. So normally for every, uh, every circuit of the breaker, of the power factor correction uh, circuit, we will provide a breaker for every circuit lah. Buat sini sini kan. So every line, every line, we must provide the breaker. And also for every uh, uh, capacitor, we must provide the breaker. Okay. So how? Uh, later we will decide. We will uh, learn how to calculate it. Okay. We have a several formula. And uh, it have uh, at least six step in order to compute or to calculate uh, for this uh, complete uh, power factor correction design. Lah. So that's why I asked, uh, I told you that this topic is very important. So please, uh, please take some attention. Lah. Okay. All right. So this topic also uh, in real life also I was invited to to settle one of the problem uh, factory at Perlis lah. So the owner of the factory uh, called me uh, to solve their problem related to the power factor correction. So that man, uh, his factory, his small factory lah. Small factory has been penalized around 3,000 something. So he called me and can you help me dia kata kan so saya pergilah so i go to your uh, his factory and then when i check oh it penalty uh, penalty by because of the uh, what we call it uh, power factor very low so the power factor is drop down uh, from 0.85 to 0.7 i think ha huh? 0.7 so you can calculate lah from 0.85 drop to 0.7 so it almost uh, 0 0.15 unit now. So 15 unit multiply yeah. you, you multiply you akan dapat the value. Uh, so it's very huge value lah. So based on that I try to suggest to him lah what what does uh, happen to to their uh, electrical system lah. So based on the investigation uh, I can see that uh, the, the MSB of this this their factory don't include the power factor correction so number one and then the number two the load the load for his factory also a lot of motors 
okay and then uh, based on that when i try ask them to running all of the machine so clearly uh, because uh, when when we run parallel at one time kan so all of the motor so confirm the uh, power factor will be drop so and if we are don't have the power factor correction so the value of power factor confirm we will start uh, step down and down down so that's why i suggest to him that you must uh, uh you must design you must install install new power vector correction board to his uh main switch board so based on that after that uh we install install the uh, power vector correction board uh to his factory and then uh, now oh, everything is okay eh? so and he happy they're ready eh? uh, so that's why i just told you that uh, i just want all of you to know that what we will learn today is very important and you can make money from this knowledge okay so mana tahu you pergi kat luar nanti you 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 find out some the same issue so you can calculate and you can propose to him and you can if you have uh, kalau you berani you, you buat sendiri lah benda ni kalau you tak berani you you can invite uh, other technician to install to them but the design from you so you got some bucks lah you, you got some money lah from them okay ilmu sangat berguna very simple and uh, you know that value for this design uh, you decide sendiri lah let's say one month one month uh, penalty 3000 so let's say lah uh, you, you can discuss with the the company lah kan how many that they they willing to pay you because you can let's say 3000 let's say that problem will be continue for one years kan at least at least uh, 10 months kalau kalau you tak solve issue issue company tu kan 3000 multiply by 10 so almost 30000 so you can discuss with him okay you can give me just 10000 i can save for you kan 30000 no need to pay 30000 dapat sikit duit kan so that's how you can make money from your knowledge today okay okay this is the uh, sample of the capacitor okay uh, normally we use uh, this this model lah this tabular bentuk bulat okay and this uh, rectangular ni uh, ada we still have rectangular steel casing but very rare to use it lah okay and uh, the cost also high compared to the uh, normal normal uh, apa uh, type of the capacitor bank okay so support free you can go to substation lab you can check which one you can also you can touch lah because there, there is no power pun kat situ you nak tengok apa itu capacitor bank you can go there alright so and then uh, power factor correction capacitor produce the necessary leading reactive so the function dia dia nak provide the leading lah because our power factor is lagging kan value of power factor lagging due to uh, reactive value lah kan reactive power tu normally motor lah yang can provide the reactive power ni so based on that we provide the leading reactive to boost up the value of the power factor so normally power factor capacitor ni uh, should be withstanding high in rush current lah so must be ya yeah, must be uh, withstand dia boleh tahan dengan high in rush current. High in rush current ni maksudnya normally uh, we know that uh, a lot a big motor when it start it, it will have in rush current. In rush it suddenly rise uh, kan macam you switch on uh, aircon kan the pump is start nak start kan starting current we call it starting current so normally it, it will uh, pick up the in rush current that time. So our uh, capacitor bank that we design make sure must be capable to withstand with the high in rush based on the load so you kena check dulu lah load apa yang uh, you design tu okay let's say you have a very big motor so you must uh, select uh, careful lah uh, uh, apa type of the capacitor bank tu okay <coughs> because uh, the capacitor normally are connected in parallel lah dia akan connected to parallel dengan 
uh, what we call it uh, parallel dengan bus bar tu so sebab bus bar direct dengan capacitor bank ni kan so the connection directly supply to them so that's why we need to to apa be careful to selection of the uh, capacitor will increase because the charging current come from the bus bar nampak charging current tu capacitor the function very simple lah uh, normal condition normal condition when we have a supply at the bus bar uh, so uh, it will take from that uh, current and then it will charge the 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 capacitor so it will it will save the charge uh, the charge into storage bank lah capacitor punya machine kan so the, the it will apa simpan charge okay when some condition uh de depend on what we set so it will discharge lah dia akan discharge to to cater the the in rush current tu ataupun drop down the power factor tu so that very simple condition lah tentu je charge and discharge okay number two we have power factor controller okay which you can see from this figure this is the automatically lah automatic of, uh, based on the microprocessor based lah kan you ada belajar kan sem lepas kan dengan cik din dan juga cik faizul topik uh, apa micro p kan micro controller lah so the power factor ni base base lah dia punya dia punya apa otak lah is microprocessor so dia akan analyze the signal daripada ct current transformer so ct uh, current transformer we already learn kan Let's say we have 1000 amp at bus bar 1000 bus bar, uh, 1000 amp is not connected to directly to the power factor ni lah Controller lah kalau it connect directly, meletup lah ni So that's why we install the current transformer To reduce, to step down the uh, current lah So one, from 1000, step up to 5 amp So from 5M, it will connected to this uh, power factor correction ni lah Power factor control board ni Okay And then based on that, dia akan uh, read the signal from the bus bar Is it okay ke tak okay based on that So from that the condition or current flowing into uh, from the bus bar And then it will connected to the power factor controller So based on that, it will calculate It will check is it okay tak okay And then based on that, it will produce the switching command to the contactor. So kalau dia tengok keadaan uh, based on current the uh, bus bar tu, dia detect oh this low and power factor. Dia adalah calculation on the controller kan. So based on that, uh, it will provide uh, signal to the contactor. Nak on kan, nak off capacitor. And kata let's say uh, drop. So dia, it will produce signal and then the contactor will be Uh, active and it will switch on the capacitor so capacitor uh, tu dia akan on lah dia, dia, dia discharge it will discharge and then it will cover back the uh, lowest uh, lower power factor tu so the power factor will be will become uh, normal again so that's the basic concept lah okay the intelligent control by microprocessor based PFC controller ensure even utilization capacitor stages So stages ni maksudnya we have a lot, uh, we have several stage of power factor Kalau you perasan tadi, picture tadi we have uh, several number kan Nampak kan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 picture So power factor correction tu dia akan signalkan, dia akan bagi katakan PFC tu Dia akan bagi signal, maybe yang only this one, on Kan? It depend on how many number of uh, the power factor drop Sekejap lah Mau saya call sekejap Okay, <coughs> continue back. So based on that, and then uh, we, the another part we we have the contactor. So as I mentioned earlier, the signal from PFC will send to the this contactor. So this contactor is 
electromechanical switching so dia yang akan switching on off dalam ni dia ada dia ada coil dalam tu you have a, uh, okay used to switch capacitor or reactor dia ada dua lah sometimes uh, directly capacitor sometimes we have a uh, uh, reactor uh, reactor baru dia pergi ke uh, capacitor so if uh, our circuit have a reactor and capacitor so this normally lah normally contactor dia ada kat sini lah so we design contactor here so switch dia akan switch on let's say switch on here so the reactor and capacitor will be switch on so that is the uh, function of the uh, what we call it the contactor okay the switching operation can be performed by mechanical contact or electronic so it depends uh, type of the contactor that you uh, propose to into your designer so because in market right now we have electromechanical macam ni and you will you also have the semiconductor electronic yeah electronic base next uh, which is the reactor okay reactor uh, okay why 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 we need to install reactor we know that uh, this is a reactor before you can uh, that you can design a uh, perfect correction without uh, without reactor and also you can inst uh, you can design also with uh, the reactor can no problem but normally we we include lah uh, include the power, apa uh, reactor why okay why tengok dulu why we need to install the reactor Okay, so we know that the network are increasing subject to harmonic issue the harmonic lah from the modern power electronic device so we call it non-linear lah and benda-benda electronic normally is non-linear load including the UPS ke balas of the lamp ke and then uh, computer and so on kan so based on that all of this component will provide the harmonic which is very dangerous Okay. Uh, then the series connection of the reactor and capacitor to detune the resonant frequency. So that is the function. So the uh, it help to prevent the capacitor damage. So that is the function of the reactor. So most critical frequency are the fifth and seventh harmonic, which is uh, two hundred fifty and three hundred fifty at 50 hertz so that is the function of the reactor try to solve it uh, from uh, damage of the capacitor okay uh, but comfort it will uh, include some cost lah when you put this uh, equipment so it will it will increase some cost of your design so at least you know whatever uh, anything that you install into your design you must have some knowledge lah. You tak perlu, you tak perlu, you cannot uh, design, you cannot put anything into your design but you do not know what does it function and why, why I want to install this reactor eh? uh, So at least you, you you have some idea related to that uh, component. Okay. So that that's why we have uh, the, uh, this is the reactor you can see from here. Okay. So every part, uh, every capacitor bank must come with the uh, reactor if you want to 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 use ah uh. and normally uh, reactor value six percent ah six percent to seven percent value there okay and then the last part is the fuse uh, or circuit breaker lah uh, to protect of the power vector corrosion so normally we use uh, MCCB ah uh, to as safety device for short circuit protection protection and uh, HLC fuse do not protect capacitor against overload so they are for short circuit only so the HRC rating should be 1.6 to 1.8 time nominal current okay but uh, normal, normal, uh, normally into our design uh, I suggest we just use the MCCB lah simple to you okay not use the HRC HRC if you are designing very hard atau very big uh, special value of the uh, motors related to the uh, power factor ni okay so now uh, 
okay the the extra thing lah. Let's maybe you you can also insert the discharge resistor. So also one key component in power factor correction. Kadang-kadang we, we we install, but most of the design we are neglect this one. So discharge uh, re, uh, a resistor required to discharge capacitor and protect human again electric shock. Itu je function dia. Okay, you can or can you you can neglect for this this uh, apa? Discharge in uh, resistor ni. Okay, so we know that the value for power factor is between zero to one lah. Kan? So kalau siapa yang design uh, power factor, is it oh, my design power factor is uh, three, kan? So meaning that uh, itu bukan design biasa-biasa tu, kan? So tetap tahu macam mana dia calculate. So jangan buat macam tu lah. Okay, so make sure your design just uh, between zero up to one. One pun very hard to to get lah, kan? Normally we design up to one, zero point nine nine lah. But we target, we target the best power factor is one lah, okay? And lowest is 0 0.85. This is a range of for our design for the power factor. So related to this uh, phaser ni, uh, we have power S and Q. So related lah. So active power P, so this formula lah. <coughs> I believe that all of you still remember this basic formula. <coughs> which is uh, P is equal to VI cos theta. And and then uh, sama juga 3 ui cos theta ni u tu equal to v lah. this one for three phase and then for reactive power q q is equal to vi sin theta lah kan q kan uh, dia pakai sudut dia sin theta lah and then this one just a recap boleh i believe that most of you still remember uh, you learn on uh, technology you subject technology electric kan uh, q and then sama lah, okay. Sometimes you find set 3 UI and uh, UI U tu equal to V lah. Uh, U tu US pakai U, okay. Uh, UK pakai V, so we follow UK. Voltage tu U uh, V. Okay, set 3 tu is because uh, three phase kan. And then for S, apparent power is S equal to VI. Uh, sama juga ni, three phase um, S UI. So why why we want to improve the power factor? We have some some ideas lah. So first is we want to reduce cost of electricity due to penalty lah. And then uh, in the technical economic optimization, we can reduce the cable size. Okay, uh, we know that uh, after this next topic we will uh, study on cable sizing. So we can see that uh, the value of the power factor will be affected the number of size of cable. So kalau power factor rendah, so the cable will be little bit bigger. So we can save money on that also. And then we can also reduce the losses of the power and kilowatt in cable. And also we can reduce the voltage drop. Okay. And uh, we can increase available power. So that's why we want to improve the power factor in our electrical distribution system to make sure we can cater all of this one, all of this thing and based on that our system will be more efficient compared to the uh, compared to the project without uh, power factor correction. Okay, I hope you all understand uh, why you want to 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 design power factor ni. Uh, bukan kita saja-saja nak install. So we target to cater all, all of this part lah. Uh. Okay. So basing what equipment at low voltage compensation is provided by fixed value compensator. Okay, equipment provide automatic regulation yang tadi tu lah power factor tu or bank which allow continuous adjustment according to requirement as loading of the installation changes. Okay, ini sama lah yang ni yang kita akan uh, will cover after this. Okay, fixed capacitor. This arrangement employ one or more capacitor to form constant level of compensation. Control may be manual by circuit breaker or loop break switch uh, by contactor ataupun by direct connection. Okay, meaning that the, the capacitor band tu is connected directly ya, to the uh, circuit. And that's mean by the fixed capacitor tu. So meaning that uh, directly fixed into the uh, board. 
So it can uh, install at terminal inductive load normally directly to the motor lah. Okay. okay you have load uh, motor and then we, we can put directly the capacitor directly to the uh, final load. And then we also can uh, install at bus bar which is this is uh, normally we install we design we design normally we, we install at bus bar supply number small motor and that they applying for individual compensation okay ini pun kita biasa buat maksudnya uh, we have bus bar from bus bar uh, before go to the load we install uh, the capacity bank there and then in case where the level of load is reasonable constant tengoklah keadaan kat mana and then uh, we can uh, do the automatic purpose the bank tadi fix kan so the another thing is automatic so the automatic uh, ini yang kita akan buat lah so the automatic will be used the power factor correction uh, power factor regulator controller okay uh, you can provide automatic control of composition maintain the close limit and select level of power factor so it based on the power factor controller tu so uh, that's why we call it automatic uh, it will check the the system uh, based on the controller it will automatically lah maintain the close limit and then it will automatic select the level of the power factor and it depend kalau kita set 0 0.8895 so uh, the system it will uh, automatically uh, check and make sure the the output uh, of the system is equal to 0 0.85 it depend on our system uh, and then uh, at the bus bar general power distribution board and then we can uh, install also terminal heavy load to the cable we can install uh, this location lah okay and then uh, where to install uh, correction capacitor we have beberapa we have several part we can install the capacitor bank so first global Nurul Nabila ada apa-apa soalan ke? Nurul Nabila ada soalan ke? Saya tak dengar soalan kamu Number two, we have a composition by sector and then lastly we have individual composition. Okay, so kalau global, if a global composition, so it's, it will connect it to the bus bar of the main LV, eh, main LV distribution. So this capacitor ni, ni katakan this main, our main uh, bus bar kan, so it will connect it directly here. LV distribution board for this and remain in service during the period normal, uh, normal load okay so the advantage kalau global ni so it can reduce the tariff penalty for excessive and then it can also reduce the apparent power on the on which standing charge are usually based and also it can relieve the supply transformer which is uh, then able to accept more load necessary. So baguslah kalau you install the at the global composition tu. And number two is a uh, composition by sector. By sector ni uh, we install here. Okay. Maybe we have a selected load only kan. Are connected to the bus bar of each location distribution load. Maybe yang ni uh, MSB kan. MSB and here maybe SSB1, uh, SSB2. So you, we can install also here. So not so there too. A significant part of the installation benefit from this arrangement. So notab uh, notably the feeder cable from the main distribution board to each of the local distribution board uh, which the compensation measure are apply. So the advantage, so sama lebih kurang dia akan uh, reduce the penalty and then uh, reduce apparent power and then relieve the supply transformer the size cable supply of the local may be, may be reduced uh, but it depends on the calculation lah. okay and then lastly number three uh, we can install by the individual individual composition 
So individual conversation uh, macam mana so the capacitor are connected directly to the terminal of inductive plant. Okay individual conversation should be considered when the power of the motor is significant with respect to the declared power KVA in the installation. The KVA rating of the KVA uh, the capacitor bank is in order 25% of the kilowatt rating. Okay so uh, this one, okay, uh, macam ni. We install directly to the load. But it depends lah. Normally, normally we install to the motors lah. Kalau macam load, macam lampu, kipas angin so tak perlu lah you nak install capacitor bank dalam tu. Kan? So that's very small. Kan? So no need uh, uh, the individual conversation. Here we can install if we have a very huge ataupun dia kata 25% lah. Okay. So normally we have uh, maybe uh, water pump kan water pump uh, ataupun uh, machine less machine apa machine uh, very big machine in the factory so normally uh, when we design it we provide the individual lah uh, individual power factor to this uh, individual uh, board of the load okay so the advantage is dia reduce the tariff sama okay and then uh, we can reduce apparent power, same, and we, we also can reduce the cable, size of all cable re can related to the final load. Okay, now we uh, coming into the, uh, what we call it, the calculation. Lah. So I just uh, shows dulu, I just shows first the uh, formula, and after this we try to uh, calculate one example. Uh, in order to to give your uh, simple understanding lah on how to implement of this uh, formula during calculation because your project you must show the calculation you must uh, explain how you calculate the power factor for your project okay you must include uh, one topic into your project report uh, Especially this topic of vector correction lah. Okay. Okay, the first uh, formula is uh, QC, which is uh, QC is the uh, QC uh, uh, capacitor output. Uh, capacitor output eh. Ha uh, tu, require, dia pun ada tulis tu. QC re require capacitor output in KVAR lah. So normally this is, uh, we use this formula, yeah, very simple formula. So you must remember lah. P, uh, QC is equal to P, which is, uh, this P is a uh, real power, kilowatt, your your maximum demand. Eh? Maximum demand of your project. Total project lah. Ataupun uh, it depend on the uh, load lah. It depend on the connection of your project, of your power factor. You nak connect macam mana? Tadi we have, uh, we know that we have a uh, three type connection kan, power factor. So you nak connect uh, your power factor connection, uh, which one? So kalau you nak letak pada yang first kali, normally, normally lah. Yeah. I will suggest you you choose uh, the first one ya. Yeah. Uh, the global ni. Okay. So the global, dia can cover all of your project lah. Okay, for your, for your project. I suggest just use uh, global. So it will cover, it will try to help to settle all, all of the power factor issue on the whole uh, your system lah. Okay, so based on that, kalau macam tu, uh, maximum demand you all based on total lah yang final value. Kan, you dah calculate uh, lampu, you, you already calculate for socket, you already calculate maybe for icon and for the whole system of your project, you got the final value of a total kilowatt which is a total connected load and from that you convert into the maximum demand so that a maximum demand you can use for this value of P. Okay, this case for global, eh, say, say, say explain uh, global, kalau you all nak guna for specific load macam individual lah, katakan you kata saya nak pakai Uh, profit correction untuk uh, individual menata projek kamu you, you pakai motor khas ke yang ada apa chiller ke apa kan you nak letak tu okey no problem 
pun boleh tapi you kena tahu eh, you can defend lah nanti justify lah Okay and then uh, and then we you need to calculate tangent theta 1 minus tangent theta 2 which is theta 1 is the actual power factor So power actual power factor nak dapat macam mana? So normally lah, uh, normally when we talking on the power factor ni we, we have some issue which is uh, keadaan asal okay actual power factor which is uh, below than 0.85 lah but since our project is very new bangunan pun tak ada lagi so we can assume that uh, it become 0.85 lah we can assume it okay and then uh, the target power factor theta tu kita nak target power factor kita nak pergi sampai mana ha tu dia target power factor normally we set a uh, 0.85 pun okey dah ngam-ngam ataupun you can set 0.9 should be good at all 0.85 and uh, 0.95 should be better lah but uh, bear in mind that the highest you set it require a lot of component a lot of component require a lot of money macam tu ya Okay and then uh, you can start use this formula lah from here you can uh, kembangkan and you can apply this formula to to get the value of QC Okay after this we, we try this formula and then the required capacitor output may be calculated as follow select the factor of K matching point of the actual target power factor calculate the required capacitor rating with this formula So we can use this formula K uh, Dia ada dapatkan K You need to have the table of K lah And then uh, method 2 If the rated voltage of capacitor is 440 and Or 5 uh, to 5 volt So we must calculate the capacitor output Which is QC new uh, Using this formula Uh, method 2 okay so which is q new sama lah qc lah so u new is equal to v new lah v new lah u, u is equal to v lah so senang macam tu uh, so cn adalah nominal maksudnya uh, let's say 3 phase so we can use 400 lah okay uh, and then f new is a frequency new And then FCN is frequency uh, nomin, uh, normal, so which is uh, 50 hertz. Okay, and then QCN, QCN is a QC that we have already calculated first step. Okay, uh, huh, this thing is same thing lah, just uh, explain. Okay, and then uh, method 3, which is uh, if the rated voltage of capacitor is 440 or 425 eh, 425 5 to 5 5 okay uh, here we knew we knew we only have two type which is either 440 or 5 to 5 it depend on the system that you want uh, to select into your your design it depend on you lah you nak pilih yang mana satu okay but kalau dalam test you tengok lah you you was uh, apa a point with uh, which system kalau 5 to 5 you just put 5 to 5 here okay and then uh, this uh, method 3 is with lithium filter lithium filter meaning that we have reactor lah uh, your system is include with 7% reactor so let's say you design you want to put uh, perfect correction include of the reactor so once You want to include in uh, the reactor, you must use this formula lah for your calculation. Okay, so 1 minus P. So this value of P is uh, equal to 7 lah. Kan 7%. Multiply by QC. QC that we have calculated in first step, method 1. Right. So we can go for the example after this. So settle. So uh, Uh, slide one. So, do you have any anything that you want to ask me? Ada part mana yang yang you confuse ke? Which is we can discuss back. For first slide. 
Everything okay? Oh, saya cakap seorang-seorang ni. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, good. So, saya masuk yang slide yang kedua sikit. Yang slide ni ada berapa slide ya? Lebih kurang dua belas. Okay, uh, continue yang tadi lah. We continue the first slide which is uh, the tune factor ni. Which is uh, P which define the ratio between red turn and red turn. SL and corresponding capacity at C in percent lah. SL over at C. And then uh, yang ni dia, dia explain macam mana you you nak pakai apa detune factor tu. Okay. Nak boleh no. Okay. Perform your serious circuit. The store all data connection of the capacitor is of no important. Kan. Yeah. Value of L tu saja. Kan. Kita nak dapatkan macam mana dia nak dapat reactor value tu. Normally kita direct je. Kita direct use saja formula 7% tu. Kan kalau you nak calculate satu persatu silakan lah guna yang formula ni. Okay and then uh, the another thing okay uh, we have switching program ataupun we, kita panggil juga ratio ratio of power factor kan. Kadang-kadang you you find out the question which is uh, just apa uh mention the value of ratio of power factor correction so this is some sample of the ratio that you can select for your project but it depend pun boleh je macam-macam uh, ratio okay uh, normally we put uh, five step uh, five uh, step lah we call it step okay one one two 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 one one two two four and so on Okay, and also you can Google also uh, the, the sample of ratio power factor. Okay, normally uh, JKR will provide six step. Okay, contoh macam ni dia ada macam ni lah, titik-titik macam tu. So, five step but this one we can see it only have five step kan. Uh, so, you can tambah lah lagi satu step ke macam ni. Okay, six step up to berapa step yang you you rasa you nak you provide pun boleh. Uh, it also have some Project I can, uh, I have seen that uh, it's up to 12 step tau, ada ha, okay. But for your project, I suggest that uh, maximum 6 step dah cukup lah. Okay, so the connection uh, rating of capacitor, connection you can uh, delta install lah. Kan, no problem. Okay, connection of rating, uh, just a connection lah. Connection dia. So, but this one you don't need to to calculate lah for your for your project. Kalau you, kalau you, if you want to choose the calculation also can lah. Also can. Let's say you want to use the apa, connection star, you can put it this uh, formula for your calculation. For delta, this uh, this formula, okay, you can put it on for your project. On it. Okay, and then CK setting, this uh, for use. This setting used to set the switching hysteresis and it calculate based on smallest size capacitor used. Uh, before this, JKR used this method. They guna CK saja. Uh, but uh, apa? Uh, very simple lah. Very simple to to select the capacitor size. Normally consultant JKR they use uh, this simplest way lah. But for us, uh, I'm suggest that we we use the previous step yang ada tiga method tadi. So we use that three method into our design. Baru kita dapat very uh, specific value for our capacitor. Barulah nampak macam engineer sikit. Okay, with automatic CK selection, the reactive power commission is achieve without CK setting. The PFR will measure and evaluate all step. So we just calculate value of CK saja. Okay, 2.88 multiply by Q divide by uh, voltage and I lah. Okay, from that, uh, they can find uh, which one uh, apa, value of CK. Uh, kan? uh, so, daripada nilai tu, katakan dia dapat uh, apa, sini kan, value dia 0.7. So, the value for capacitor is, take up uh, 15, 15 uh, VAR. So, this is how they, they, they find out the value of capacitor. Uh, okay, this is style CK setting lah. Okay, uh, but I'm not suggest to this uh, 
Kalau you nak compare nanti boleh, tak ada masalah You Sikit first step tu Kan kita nak dapat uh, QC tu You check dulu pun boleh, tak ada masalah You nak you nak dapatkan dia If you want to choose like that Okay So now uh, uh, We go to How to calculate eh, no? new one Alright, can we continue? Huh? Well, we continue. Huh? Uh, we still have some time. Okay, uh, design. We want to design power factor correction. We have uh, some. Uh, we have some apa, step that uh, require to complete of the design power factor correction. Huh? So we try to solve one 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 example lah. Okay. So first, we must have the TCL, TCL and MD value. So apa value TCL? Whatever lah, katakanlah X, X value, katakan berapa eh? Uh, let's say 150 kilowatt. And then from that, uh, you can find the value of MD, right? So maximum demand. So let's say maximum demand is uh, 100 kilowatt. Okay. So this uh, this this value it depend on your project atau it depend on the question lah kalau, kalau test uh, it will given to you lah value of the maximum demand so to design of the power factor correction we just refer to the value of the maximum demand bukan TCL okay because why we why we, we just choose a uh, maximum demand tak boleh jawab kenapa kita tak guna TCL apa kelebihan dan keburukan dia? Naili, Rauha? Uh, TCL tu sebab bila kita on load dalam masa Semua load lah dalam masa yang sama serentak So kita takkan guna Takkan kita nak pakai lampu semua serentak kot Jadi okay. uh, maksimum di mana hmm, Okay boleh boleh terima jawapan tu Lagi ada apa siapa nak jawab lagi? Pasal siapa kita pakai maksimum di mana tu? Instead of TCL Terima uh, kasih Badrul Nurun Nabila kot nak menjawab Tadi cakap dah tadi, saya tak dengar Cakap apa Saya pergi pulang Sebab kita pakai maximum demand, kena tahu juga ni Soalan ni selalu saya kena waktu saya pergi meeting Waktu saya meeting sebab Kadang-kadang uh, JKR pun akan tanya, TMB pun tanya uh, Dia kata You, your, your load, your total load is 150 Why your calculation only uh, 100? Oh, dia akan tanya macam tu Kenapa you consider 100 saja? eh? You can imagine, you ditanya macam ni Waktu kerja nanti You nak jawab apa? Tiba-tiba uh. you kena tanya soalan itu. You yang buat design ni, you design you guna 100 kilowatt Kan? Tiba-tiba dia tanya, kenapa tak pakai 150 kilowatt tu eh? Sebab Reduce cost ha? Betul lah, reduce cost betul ha, Pun betul jawapan tu ha. Tapi ada ada jawapan lain yang lebih tepat lagi Apa nak menjawab Kenapa kita calculate just uh, MD je Macam apa Ni kata tadi pun betul juga ha, Sebab kita tak semuanya on load pun Pun betul ha. Dan kita nak tahu We want to know all uh, all load that uh, we we use it depend on the diversity factor kan so the diversity factor tu yang akan uh, shows the the available value that uh, we assume lah. normally we assume based on the factor uh, provided by the uh, IE standard and also JKR standard lah so based on that uh, factor we got the value of a maximum demand kan so maximum demand equal to TCL multiply by diversity factor kan so based on that lah kita dapat and also why we choose a uh, why we choose a uh, maximum demand is a uh, requirement by TMB lah okay TMB it just this supply based on maximum demand dia tak bagi pun uh, supply based on the TCL okay so based on that lah, based on that condition so we design also the power factor correction based on the maximum demand not of the TCL And okay so first step apa formula dia? 
Formula yang number first is uh, we need to find value of QC which is uh, we need to find the smallest value kan smallest value of the capacitor bank Okay remember we want to design first of the uh, we have the MCCB breaker and then uh, we have the uh, uh, contactor contactor after conductor we have uh, sorry macam tu we have a reactor after reactor baru kita akan jumpa uh, okay so all satu dua tiga empat okay semua ni kita kena uh, all of this uh, component we need to calculate okay so number one we want to calculate ni single number of the capacitor so formula for QC or output capacitor lah output capacitor Sorry lah, my, my apa, tulisan sangat tak cantik kan. Eh? I hope all of you can can read lah my <laughs> uh, tulisan. Okay, so formula for QC, tadi do you still remember QC equal to apa, uh, power tangent theta 1 minus tangent theta 2. Ni kan formula dia. So uh, from that, uh, okay, we we must have lah. We we need to know that theta one is a uh, actual actual power factor. So let's say lah kita letak uh, kita assume uh, first condition uh, 0.87, kan? And then uh, theta two, which is uh, our target target to increase lah. Let's say uh, lowest 0.75 and we, we want to boost it, we want to increase the power factor up to 0 0.85 uh, pun boleh. Uh, for this for this example saya tunjuk ni lah, ini actual dan juga target lah but for your project you can use your own number lah, okay uh, katakan you nak pakai actual power factor 0 0.8 saja pun okay, tak ada masalah uh, but you need to know lah, you pakai tu you must know during your calculation uh, and then your target value theta kan, you nak pakai 0 0.85 ke 0 0.9 ke, 0 0.99 ke sekejap lah Alright, sorry ya. Sampai mana tadi ya? Okay, target power factor kan? Okay, so based on that 
we can calculate lah. Okay, so we assume our P is 100. 100. 100 kilowatt and then tangent theta 1. So theta 1 ni, uh, you nak calculate you kena inverse cos dulu lah eh. Tapi terlupa pula. Let's say macam uh, apa? Uh, you kena buat cos negatif 1 0.75 uh, You akan dapat lah nanti Kan? Uh, berapa value dia? Barulah you boleh tangentkan dia Kan? Uh, yang ni saya tak perlu ajar lah I don't need to teach lah because this one very very simple, very basic lah So cos uh, inverse cos 0.85 berapa? For this one uh, Sekejap tekan calculator sekejap dapat apa? 41, 41.4 Yang ni uh, inverse cos 0.85 But 31.78 So uh, from that uh, you can choose lah kan Tangent uh, 7, apa 41.4 minus tangent 31.78 So you calculate you akan dapat lah Uh, okay, you can you can get a value for QC Kan uh, You calculate tengok, you dapat apa So, saya try calculate Saya dapat 21 uh, 26.1 uh, KVAR uh, Example lah, okay Okay, settle step uh, number first. So we, we try to find uh, step first dulu QC uh, output capacitor yang very small. And then based on that, uh, we go to the step two, which is uh, which is uh, we try to find QC new when we dealing with the system with have the Uh, method 2 tadi tu lah yang you, we refer to the formula kan which is let's say let's say for the system given to us is 5 to 5 uh, volt kan so we we need to use a new formula which is a v new over vn uh, square root square root uh, square uh, f new over fn kan and then multiply by qc So based on that you can directly okay we knew idea idea eh? dia ada dua je 525 or 440 so it depend depend on you okay uh, you you can select either one so but the better voltage if 525 lah normal normal design we will use 525 but it depend on the condition uh, sometimes maybe kalau lah you kena dalam exam ke apa kan Uh, dia pakai 440 so you need to know lah uh, V new tu you, you nak include kat mana so let's say for this uh, example we use uh, 5 to 5 divided by Vn is uh, V V dominant so for 3 phase uh, 400 kan uh, kalau dulu before this we use uh, 415 but now we we are reduced to 400 so we use 400 lah eh. And then uh, frequency new, so normally frequency is maintained lah 50 and our nominal pun uh, uh, 50 kan And then QC is uh, you 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 can use uh, this value back Okay, uh, let's say you got 25, uh, 26.1 kbr So you calculate lah Can you help me to calculate? Tolong sekejap Siapa-siapa to calculate dapat apa? Bobo, dapat? Bagi 400 Square darab Satu darab Bobo, dapat? Empat empat poin sembilan Okay, good Alright, thank you So baru step apa ni? Satu step dua ni So then We move to the step three Which is uh, We want to include the What we call the reactor uh, QC 
uh, with uh, reactor so we need to apply new formula lah uh, tambahan lagi so QC macam mana formula dia tadi uh, QC sama dengan uh, alamak lupa lah V new over Vn dia sama je formula ni kan dia uh, step 2 and 3 ni 2 and 3 is uh, depend lah depend of the system either you want to let's say for this uh, step 2 without without uh, uh, reactor and step 3 is with reactor so you, you just choose which one lah okay so yang ni multiply by oh boy 1 minus P over 100 and uh, multiply by QC okay so yang ni you akan dapat V new dia 525 volt uh, Vn is 400 let's get by 1 minus 7 lah because uh, the uh, reactor value is uh, 7% so and then we multiply by the 26.1 kVAR okay can you help me to calculate this new value so, berapa dapat? 525 divided 500 Berapa dapat? Siapa dah kaklik dapat apa? Ada yang dapat? 41.8 eh saya percaya kat ampau ni ok 41.81 uh, ok thank you Mirul so KBR so this is uh, you can see the different kan dia lebih kecil lah kalau ikut uh, when we install the reactor uh, it should be lower than uh, system without the reactor ok 44 and 41 tu betul lah tu ok uh, right and then after you got this uh, number uh, you can go to the, the another step which is step 4 step number 4 you can uh, uh, start calculate the ratio ok you can select ratio lah ok ratio of your PFC you know you you, you want to choose uh, which ratio uh, from the slide you can see a lot of ratio right so and you also can can propose the new ratio also can no problem uh, but for this, uh, let's say, uh, let's say for this one, I propose one, one, two, two, four, four. Let's say I'm, I'm choose this ratio for this uh, example. Okay, so how based on this uh, our value QC, how, uh, what's the actual value of the capacitor? We need to find for every step. Okay, then what we, what we should do? Then uh, we sum sum this step. This step we, we try to sum it. So four plus four and plus two plus two plus one plus one. So you plus ah. Okay, eleven, twelve, fourteen. So it's fourteen step for this for this example. It's fourteen step. Okay, based on that you need to calculate the QC small. QC small, uh, very simple, which is uh, it depend on our last value, which is 40, uh, 41.81 though, KBAR, we divide by the uh, step 14. So, you dapat apa? Dapat apa? 41.81 divide by... 14 so you dapat 2.9 kan betul 2.98 lah betul semua dapat kan 2.98 kan so uh, tujuan kita dapat the objective of we want to find this QC small uh, before this we, we just uh, find out the overall value of a uh, uh, capacitor required in our system now we want to make a step by step okay yeah, you know that normal capacitor bank when we drop 
normally normally we just make it step by step just we start with very small let's say uh, our 0 0.85 kan uh, maximum and then maybe it drop to 0 0.84 only so based on that only 0 0.01 kan drop kan so based on that maybe only this step saja yang akan on only this one uh, will will step ah uh, will on so based on that that's why we we put uh, apa several ratio and yeah, maybe if uh, let's say drop to 0 0.6 so based on that confirm uh, maybe all of uh, this step kan will be switch on uh, so so that's why uh, we try to arrange uh, several ratio to make sure our system is very very rapidly uh, can control the system compare let's say uh, you you we have calculate 41.8 and then we just install one number capacitor uh, not yeah, okay so 41.8 so we equal to 50 kvr you just put one number of a uh, one number of capacitor also can but there's no switching lah so 50 kvr so it uh, it must waiting the value that related to the system kan so uh, every time or maybe every time this capacitor will be work out lah Teruklah kapasiti tu discharge, discharge, charge, discharge and so normally if you make like that so the lifespan of the kapasitor is not longer lah dia tak boleh tahan lama so that the issue so that's why <coughs> we put uh, several step <coughs> kita nak jaga ni yang especially yang mahal ni size besar ni kalau boleh kita control uh, no need to work uh, at any time okay <coughs> boleh boleh follow eh Sampai sekarang boleh eh? 2.98 Semua boleh follow lagi eh? Boleh eh? Boleh eh? Boleh sih Alright So next, apa yang nak kena buat? Bila you dah ada ni So you need to open the uh, data sheet lah Okay, because we want to find the real one, real value So 2.98 KVR not available on the market. So we need to open the data sheet. So data sheet yang saya just share dalam WhatsApp group tadi. You can open it lah. Uh, kat mana orang letak kan. Okay. So we open okay, the, this data sheet. This just one example lah. This brand lah. Brand VC. But for your project or your real project, you can download, you can use uh, the real one lah. Real uh, real data sheet lah yang available at market. This one also available at market. Okay. Project JKL also normally we uh, use this uh, VC brand. Okay. So how to use this uh, data sheet? So you check this uh, voltage. Eh? So our system, our calculation is 5 to 5 right? So 5 to 5 here lah. Okay. 5 to 5 system. It also have 6, 6 0. But normally JKL project we use 5 to 5 lah. And then delta connection. Okay. Clear lah. 3 phase. 3 phase delta connection. Okay. So based on our calculation tadi we we got 2.98 kan. 2.98 kVAR. So based on that the nearest value is so sini lah kita refer this, this column eh. So the nearest is 2 point, uh, you can use this one lah. So equal to 3 lah. Kan? So takkan nak pakai 10. Terlalu tinggi lah. Ya? Rugi lah. Ya? So we can choose this one. 3. So based on that. Mana saya duduk guna tadi? Yang ni lah. Eh? Okay. So we use uh, 3 kVAR for QC small. So meaning that for every single value of the capacitor is 3 kvr value based on that okay clear so after that what we should do is uh, we have the ratio so we calculate now so we have step 1 1 1 2 2 4 4 kan so we calculate so every uh, step we calculate with the value of a QC small. We multiply je lah. So we got 3, this one 3, this one is 6, 
C, uh, 12 and this one also 12 and then you, you calculate the total total QC lah ok berapa ni 12 uh, apa 24 24 30 36 42 so we got 42 KVAR semua ni KVAR lah eh. Okay, if you confuse some part, just tell me. Eh? So uh, I can uh, double check. Eh? Maybe I have some apa, salah kan? We, we can discuss together. Okay, this step. Okay, so this is our system lah. The actual system. Uh, this one is by calculation. But this one is actual and ready to install in our system. Because uh, the value that uh, we propose here is uh, matching with the available at market value of the capacitor bank. So from that, we know that uh, our total uh, bank is 42 KB. Kan? Instead of tadi kita ada 41 kan? 41.8. Uh, so now it become 42 KBR. Okay. So what's next? What's next? Uh, bila dah sampai level ni, apa yang kita nak kena buat lagi? Okay. So we have a, a last step which is... Uh, when we have a uh, tadi kan kita dah ini step this one dah clear okay and then the reactor so what uh, reactor kita kena kena buat apa reactor so reactor we have already decide here kan so 7% kan so normally we, we only have this value je lah so confirm so this one we choose 7% uh, First, yes or no. So let's say for our system, yes, we want to use with reactor. And then the question number two is what value of the reactor? So we choose 7%. So clear, settle. And then now the contactor and MCCB. Because uh, the contactor is refer to the MCCB value. Should be same value lah. Let's say for this one is 30M. So contactor pun is 30M. It should be same value lah. You, tak perlu, uh, you cannot use a uh, bigger or lower than than the breaker. Okay. So now the last step we just calculate the breaker because the conductor will be follow the MCCB value. So last step we call it the what we call uh, protection. Step apa ni? Step four, five. Uh, protection lah protection so protection uh, requirement we call it requirement so in order to calculate the protection we have a formula IC max which is a uh, please remember that we have a uh, two formula uh, it depend on value of a uh, QC okay you see that we have a uh, calculate the this value lah. Okay. This QC ya. Yeah. QC for every step. And sampai sini lah. All of this QC ya. Yeah. Okay. So Q, QC if below 100 kV AR we must use the formula is 1.43 multiply by QC divide by 3 uh, V rated. So V rated tu V supply lah. Okay. Uh, and also the second formula is more than 100 kV AR. So the formula is uh, 1.365 multiplied by QC divided by 3 multiplied by V rated. Okay, this formula you must uh, remember lah during your calculation. So just check back into our system. So you can check one by one. Kan? Sampai total, even total, we are under this condition kan. It's below than 100 kV. So, uh, for protection, we just use this formula lah. For every step. Okay. Yeah. For every step ni, kita kena calculate uh, IC dan breaker for every step. So, let's say we have 6 step. So, we need calculate. So, 6 step lah. 6 time. Uh, but uh, 
if you can see we have a same kan this two step same value right for four two two one one so based on that we only calculate three times so step first is a step uh, one and two which is a uh, power formula dia? 1.43 multiply by QC our QC is 3 kan QC is 3 divide by 3 multiply by 400 so kita dapat bawah berapa tekan tekan calculator je please calculate for me dapat apa Rubin Rubin Tiran calculate je dapat berapa ni 3 divided by 3 multiply by 4 yang ni KV tau so saya dapat 6.19 ok uh, 6.19 ok so and then uh, so from that uh, we check the table lah table kan table yang uh, protection tu you ada kan you all ada kan buku tu saya tengok ramai dah beli buku tu bagus so mana buku tu ok buku ni page berapa satu lima lebih tu ok so you open this uh, table so you calculate you got 6 point something kan 6.19 kan M so yang available MCCB tu so paling kecil pun 30 so based on that we select uh, our breaker is 30 M ok settle lah for step 1 and step 2 so this kat sini pun kita letak uh, 30 M sini pun 30 M breaker dia ok next step uh, 3 and 4 so 3 and 4 still uh, below 100 so we, we use the same formula lah. then number 2 is 6 kilowatt kan 6 kV, kV. so 6 kV divide by 3 multiply by 400 so berapa calculate lah uh, 6 kV divide by set 3 so you got 12.38 M so this one also equal to 30 M lah kan sebab so 30 ni paling kecil kan paling kecil dari kita uh, we can see from the table the lowest value of breaker available is 30 m kan so now the available also 30 m then we go to the last step which is step 5 and 6 kan 5 and 6 ok here and here we have uh, 1.43 multiply by 12 kv ar divide by 3 so we can get uh, ok 12.12 kvr divided by you got 24.76 m so here also 30 m kan ha. so finish but uh, don't forget to calculate the last also the total total QC we can see that we have 42 ni kan so we calculate also so also uh, we use the same formula since the QC also still between uh, still be below 100 kV so we use the same formula so 1.43 1 multiply by 42 kvar divide by 3 so we can get by uh, apa 42 
Oh, at this six, at this six point. So this value. So, ah, yang ni kita kena buka table balik ya. So we open back table. So we can check that. Ah, kan. So hundred lah, equal to hundred lah. Kan? Forty eight this six kan. So equal to hundred m. So settle. So after that, uh, after that we can uh, draw lah. Okay. Uh, you can open back. Send and then okay, and then you you have the capacitor. Okay, so this one is step one. So you repeat. Uh, you have thirty, kan? So this uh, last last yang you calculate tu, total QC is here lah, hundred m tu. Okay. So ni step one, step two you you draw same thing lah, kan? You nak you dah ada nilai dia kan semua kan? Uh, you draw until complete lah. Step three uh, sampai lah step uh, six lah. But you don't draw like 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 me lah. Eh. You you draw a complete lah, complete one lah. Uh, everything should be copy like this. Eh. Okay? Or or uh, you can also draw what uh, we we normal draw lah macam alamak tadi page berapa eh ha ni uh, you can draw like this like this uh, drawing uh, for whole system kan let's see lah kan okay so you can draw like this you only have one max uh apa? last uh 100 and this one is 100 m because this uh, mccb is for the total mccb only okay but uh, every step of the uh, perfect breaker uh, you just in include here okay and then uh, this value also use uh, the contactor and then uh, you should draw the the reactor here and then for this one, just capacitor bank. Normally, normally uh, in uh, drawing of engineering, they just draw uh, simple like this for the whole system. And uh, they also normally they put the ratio number here. Okay, so settle. For your project also settle. You can, uh, if you don't uh, believe me, you can open your example drawing eh, that I I believe that I already share with you the sample of the schematic diagram kan ada ada yang saya bagi kan saya saya rasa lah saya bagi ya saya try buka satu so uh, complete uh, for power factor correction is it you have uh, anything to ask me Ada tak apa skematik? Oh tak ada, saya tak bagi So rasa saya macam biasa share kat kamu apa sample skematik diagram Dalam our lab, lab uh, right, our lab kan Our lab, uh, lab 2 Or lab 1 Skematik Okay, lab one. Lab one, we I share already the schematic. You can check at the left kan? left side. So, yep. So I'll stop share here. Can I not stop? So. Hmm. 
Oh sorry So saya tak boleh share uh, dekat saya punya Mac ni So tak apa you can open by your own lah uh, Sample of the schematic diagram uh, From lab 1, appendix 2 So you can see from that uh, With the green color kan, green color tu The sample of the power factor correction lah So you can use the same concept of the drawing also same, same thing lah Okay, it also have the MCCB It also have the contactor So the contactor you can uh, put uh, value of contactor that we calculate uh, For every step tu kan, uh, Just now we calculate uh, for every step Which is uh, let's say step 1 and 2 We got the MCCB value is 30M kan So you just put uh, 2, 2 by 30M to pole Okay, the contactor So the other person will understand And then reactor And then lastly, uh, last one, the capacitor I just put uh, value of every step that we already calculate For every step lah So let's say we just uh, calculate just now <coughs> Step one <coughs> We have a 3 kVAR kan So you, you can put uh, 2 2 by uh, 3 kVAR And then 2 by 2 multiple by uh, Second step uh, Third step is 6 kVAR And then lastly is uh, 2 times also the uh, 12 kVAR At 5 to 5 volt uh, So uh, complete lah for your uh, power factor correction Okay so I think that's all for today. If you don't have uh, any question, so I left until here, and then uh, the attendant link I think I already share into the chat. Kan ada kan? Ada tak? Kalau tak ada, I copy. Ada link. ada. Ada dah eh? Okay, you just uh, can click in. Then uh, see you on uh, tomorrow uh, face to face kan uh, kita jumpa lah di DK apa esok DK 10 kan petang esok kan eh, DK 7 kan so see you at DK 7 lah on 2pm uh, 2, 2 PM. see you there alright so thank you for your attention and I hope uh, for the next time you, you can try to communicate with me lagi lah. Okay, so that's all. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.